Hey everyone, Colin Shello back for some outside videos. The, uh, the weather on my house in late July and early August has been so nice that I decided to take my camera and take my wheel outside and get some work done out here. So I did a whole series of these. I, I did about three and a half hours of work outside and um, was able to do some nice recordings. So I've got a couple pieces from this series and this is the very first one here. Just making a very simple flared out vase here. Um, as you can see, I'm doing my usual pulls. Um, it's kind of nice throwing outside. The the wind was kind of blowing on me a little bit. It was nice and cool. You know, it was around 80 degrees, so it felt really good. So I was able to kind of keep going uh, for most of the afternoon here. So um, I'm just trying to get some good height out of this. I was just I, I knew the shape I wanted to go for this one was kind of a flared out here. So I'm I'm taking my my plastic group tool and really kind of like I do with bowls. I I, I work it from the out inside out. So I'm really just taking that ribbon pressing. Uh, outward from the inside while trying to keep it steady on the top, which it's got a little wobble as most of my vases do. If you've, you've watched my videos, you know that I'm not afraid of having a little wobble here. So now I'm just taking the rib on the outside, trying to smooth out some of those as well. Try to get it as flared out as I can. And once I had the shape that I want here, using my chamois cloth, just running out the top and then taking some of the clay off the bottom here. Basic, simple shape. Now I'll go back and trim some of this up. Um, it's it's kind of weird when you do. Uh, I recorded about half the pots I made on this day, so I think I have five videos for the outside series. But I ended up making eleven pieces or so. Um, but you know, you kind of get into a groove of making, and then you come back the next day and you get into a groove of trimming, and then uh, later that night I did a whole bunch of uh, you know cutting out holes and shapes, and you just kind of go uh, into mindless work here. So I got my trimming done here, of course doing my chatter tool and I'm, I'm not uh, <laughs> very aware of how in the way I am on these so in the later videos I've I've gone through and and uh, changed my position here I decided this one I do a little uh, kind of like half yin yang or uh, a Nike swoosh I don't know what it is I don't I don't even want to say Nike swoosh because I never I tell my students all the time that you're never allowed to use Nike swooshes or peace signs or hearts but I don't know I was just making kind of an abstract shape and doing some cutouts in between so sometimes I have in mind that I have a very specific shape I want to work around and sometimes I just look at the space that I give myself and I just cut out whatever I feel and this was the the shape that came out the first one so and I just try to get some uh, spacing between them equal spacing and then I come back and try to um, cut out the uh, the areas around that I want here so um, it's nice to have these little triangles they, they allow if you cut out triangles what you end up getting is bands in between these triangles here you can see when I do the lower ones too um, I did make a mistake on this one. I I, uh, I said to myself, I don't need to hold it up every single time. And this time, look, I, I went down to the wrong line. I went down to my line for um, my chatter tool, so I had to go down and, and adjust it for all of them now, which is fine. So I just had to cut out a little bit extra from each one. And then, of course, the old sponge. I've spent a lot of time going through and cleaning up all these pieces with the sponge and getting rid of all these hard lines. I don't want to have sharp edges on my pieces so I just go through with the sponge and really try to clean everything up so all those hard edges um, kind of round over a little bit and plus all the little uh, pieces that I pick up get picked up as well so here I am with the finished one uh, kind of weird little cutout shape but a, a cool little vase to start out this series outside come back and watch some more